Hello everyone. The topic of、uh, this part is、uh, best practices、uh, for accelerated、uh, image distribution using Dragonfly. There are two speakers. I'm Wen Boqi, working as a maintainer for Dragonfly at、uh, Ant Group, and my partner Yi Yang Huang from Bad Dance, who is also a maintainer for Dragonfly. First, let's introduce the Dragonfly project and some other research and development date in the past year. Dragonfly is an open-source P2P-based file system and image acceleration system. It's hosted by Cloud Native Computing Foundation as an incubating lab project. It's designed to improve the Official and the speed of large-scale file distribution is used on the fields of the、uh, application distribution, touch distribution, log distribution, and image distribution. At this stage, Dragonfly has evolved based on Dragonfly One on the basis of maintaining the core capabilities of Dragonfly One. Dragonfly it has been upgraded in major features such as system architecture design, product capabilities. Dragonfly has been selected and put into production, used by many internet companies since it opened open source in 2017, and inter inter since I've. In October 2018, in 2020, Sensef TOC voted to accept Dragonfly as a Sensef incubating project. Dragonfly has de- developed the next version through production protects, which is absorbed the advantage of Dragonfly One and made a lot of optimizations for nonce problems. Now that Dragonfly has been released more than two one hundred seventy times, the project has active commits for a long time. We can refer to the first picture, which is the commit date for the past year. Dragonfly maintainers come from different companies, include Ant Group, Alibaba, Bad Dance, Baidu Group, GitLab. Listeners who are interested in the project can join in the community through the link below and discuss the future future development of the project with us. Some listeners may not know much about the Dragonfly project. I will introduce and architectures of the Dragonfly project and the rule. Of each service, first, uh, Dragonfly consists uh, from uh, uh, four syst- uh, service, include manager, scheduler, set peer, and peer. The manager in the project can be used as a manager service. The scheduler in the project can be used as a、uh, scheduler service. The DFD man in the project can be used as a peer service and.、Uh, Or a set peer service. In, we introduce each service. First of all, the manager service, which is a management service, is used to manage the relationship between multi clusters. A P two P cluster includes a scheduler cluster, a set peer cluster, and multi peers. Multi P two P cluster are managed by the manager. At the same time, manager also provides、uh, dynamic config management, such as、uh, controlling the load of peer and、uh, set peer. The manager can also become a certificate issuing CA service, issuing leaf certificates to scheduler, set peer, and peer. It also provides a front end console, which is easy for user to. Manage P2P clusters. 
It also provides user-related features such as use mode, management, and RBAC. Also provides open API such as preheat API to be coded by other services. Of course, the main feature of Manager is to manage the stability of the cluster. It can remove inactive service address from the cluster. Scheduler is a very important service in Dragonfly. Its main features is to select the candidate download parents for download peer. When the peer download is failed, uh, control the peer to back to Swan's download task. Of course, the scheduling is still very complicated. It will build a deck of peers. And uh, in the scheduling, it will go through filter and uh, evaluator to select uh, candidate parents. Set peer can be triggered by the scheduler to download back to Swan's and dive the, the resource into pieces, which can be used as the root node of the uh, cluster resource. And it uh, also has the feature of a peer. Usually, set peer in the cluster provide a high performance machine and uh, a high quality network environment, which downloading task for the first time, they can back to Swan's download the resource at the faster speed. Peer in the uh, peer is the client in P2P network. It can be downloader and uploader. It will start a dfget daemon to distribution. It gets the parents by exchanging information with the scheduler. The dfget daemon and the df daemon extensions dfget, df store and the uh, cache command to use a CS architecture. For example, dfget will download files with the command line and the dfget will call the gRPC API of daemon to download files. The above picture shows a download precise. <laughs> First, peer will async get the most matching scheduler address from the manager. Then peer register uh, task with the scheduler, and the peer will building stream with the scheduler. If the task is downloaded for the first time, the scheduler will trigger the set peer to download back to source. The scheduler uh, returns the candidate parents to the peer. Then peer will download pieces from parents and uh, build the piece into a completed file. Users can deploy the set peer in a place where the network environment of the source is better, so as to ensure that first time back to source is uh, as fast as fast as fast as uh, possible. Of course, we can see that. Dragonfly can support uh, different uh, types of uh, protocols for P2P transmission. Firstly, Dragonfly can support uh, object storage such as uh, AWS S3, uh, Google Cloud Storage, Azure Blobs, Alluin OSS. Object storage is uh, also a common solution for storing uh, machine learning modules. So Dragonfly can also provide a service for inference modules and accelerate the process of pooling modules. Dragonfly also provides acceleration for container image images. Dragonfly supports many clients, including Docker, ContainerD, CLIO, OR, AS. Dragonfly also supports the HTTP protocol and the HDFS protocol. This support for the HTTP protocols expands Dragonfly's range of using. Dragonfly and NADAS allow for uh, both lazy load 
container image and download with the P2B technology. We will provide users with a set of container image acceleration solutions based on Hubble and Dronefly. First, we will build the image, then upload it to the Hubble, and then download the container image through container D. When downloading the layer of the image, it will accelerate it through the Dronefly P2B network. In this way, users have an image acceleration solution based on P2P technology. Nether's acceleration framework implements a content, content addressable file system that can accelerate a container image startup by lazy loading. It has supported the creation of millions of accelerated image containers daily. Currently, it, uh, its uh, maintainers comes from uh, Ant Group, Alibaba Cloud, and uh, BadDance. Nadus has many features include uh, image can be fetched on demand uh, in chunks for lazy load, uh, lazy pulling to both uh, uh, container startup, deeply uh, integrated uh, with the Linux kernels, uh, ELFS and FS Catch, enabling in kernel support for image acceleration. From build time to runtime, Nadus covers uh, container uh, ecosystems such as uh, Docker, ContainerD, Podman, BuildKit, Node Control. Faster building build speed than OCIVE GZIP or GSTD format, as well as the ability to directly uh, accelerate OCIVE image. The ability to de de duplicate uh, data at uh, the trunk level, level between local and uh, server side uh, reduce. Uh, storage waste uh, of over 50% uh, caused uh, by incremental uh, build, build, builds. We will provide uh, users uh, with a set of uh, container image acceleration solutions based on Hubble, Dronefly, and Nidus. This uh, more perfect uh, solution. First, we will build the image into a Nidus image. Then upload it uh, to the Hubble and uh, then download the image through Nidus uh, Snapshotter, which of course is a uh, lazy load. When downloading the data of a file, it will be accelerated uh, through the Jumpfly P2P network. In this way, users has a, have an image acceleration solution that can be used on demand and enjoy P2P acceleration. Test the performance of a single machine image download after the integration of Nidus mirror mode and Dronefly P2P. <coughs> Test running version commands uh, using images uh, in different languages. For example, the startup uh, command user to run a Python image is a uh, Python version. Uh, the test uh, were performed uh, on the same machine due to the influence uh, of the network environment of the machine itself. The actually uh, download time is not important, but the ratio of the increase, increase in the uh, download time in different uh, uh, scenarios is very important. Test has different scenarios, include OCIVE, use Canada D to pull image directly. Nidus code boot use container D to pull image through Nidus snapshotter and uh, doesn't hit any catch. 
Nadal and uh, John Fly called uh, uh, boot. Use uh, Kennedy to pull image through uh, John Fly and Nadal's snap shorter. Transfer the traffic the traffic uh, to John Fly P two B based on Nadal's uh, mirror mode, and uh, no catch hits. Uh, no catch hits. Uh, hit uh, John Fly remote uh, peer catch. Use uh, John Fly to pull. Image through Nadal's uh, snap shorter. Transfer the traffic uh, to John Fly P2B based uh, on Nadal's uh, mirror mode and hit the remote peer catch. Hit uh, John Fly local peer catch. Use uh, uh, Kennedy to pull image through Nadal's uh, snap shorter. Transfer the traffic to John Fly P2B based uh, on um, Nadal's uh, mirror mode. And uh, hit the local peer catch. Hit another uh, catch. Use uh, Kennedy to pull image through another uh, snap shorter. Um, transfer the traffic uh, traffic uh, to jump fly P two B based uh, on another uh, mirror mode and uh, hit the another local catch. Test uh, result uh, results. Uh, uh, Show Nadal's uh, mirror mode uh, and uh, jump fly P2P integration. Use the Nadal's uh, download image to compare the OSI VE mode. It can effectively uh, reduce the image download time. Uh, the code boot of uh, Nadal's and uh, Nadal's and uh, jump fly are basically closed. All his uh, to jump fly catch are better than Nadal's only. The most important thing is that if very large uh, uh, Kubernetes clusters use Nadal's to pull images, the download of each image layer will be generated as many range requests as needed. The QPS of the source of the registry is uh, too high, cause the QPS of the registry to be relatively high. Jumpfly can effectively reduce the number of requests and the download traffic for back to source registry. In the best case, Jumpfly can make the same task uh, uh, back to source download one only once. Dreamfly has also has a very very good uh, practice in machine learning. Uh, inference energy include uh, TensorFlow serving, uh, Titan server, and uh, Torch serve. They will download modules from object storage. Dreamfly supports different types of uh, uh, object storage uh, protocols, allowing it to support the efficiency uh, energy to download uh, modules through P2P technology. This prevents the object storage from reaching bandwidth uh, limit limitations and uh, download uh, modules uh, slowly. It can accelerate uh, the download speed of modules and uh, reduce the bandwidth on the object storage. Many companies uh, are currently using Dreamfly to accelerate uh, their download modules in the inference uh, energy. Hello everyone, my name is Huang Yiyang. I'm a software engineer from ByteDance. I will introduce best practice using Dragonfly in ByteDance Cloud Service Volcano Engine. Before start, let me have a short introduce about products of Volcano Engine. Dragonfly will be used for them. Container Registry CR is a product of ByteDance Cloud Service Volcano Engine, which provides secure and highly available container image hosting services to facilitate users to manage the entire lifecycle container images. Volk Engine Kubernetes Engine VKE provides high-performance Kubernetes container cluster management services centered on containers through deep integration of next-generation cloud-native technologies.
helping users quickly build containerized applications. Work Engine Container Instance VCI is a serverless and containerized computing service. Currently, VCI can seamlessly integrate the container service wiki to provide Kubernetes orchestration capabilities. With VCI, users can focus on building the application itself without purchasing and managing infra infrastructure such as underlying cloud servers and only pay for the resource consumed by the actual running of the container. In Volcano Engine, users use CR to store and manage their images. There are some limits in two scenarios. First, in a wiki Kubernetes cluster, the number of clients is increasing. The image used by application may reach GB level. Second, if an image is converted to Nardis format, the number of requests will increase by an order of magnitude. Therefore, the concurrency of pool is limited by the bandwidth and QPS in the end. We did some research about P2P projects in community. There are two production available P2P projects, Dragonfly and Kraken. Here is a comparison about them. They are both high available. Container D support, HTTPS artifact registry support, and production available. But Dragonfly has some advantages. Its community is more active and has more users. It is used by Ant Group, Intel, Baidu, DD, Kuaishou, and many other companies. Kraken is used by Uber and NetEase. Most importantly, Dragonfly is not as compatible. The architecture complexity of Dragonfly is less than Kraken. So Dragonfly is a better option and we choose to use it. How to deploy Dragonfly in Volcano Engine? We need to consider three points. How to deploy in VKE, how to serve for VCI, and how to serve for Nardis. In the Volcano Engine, VKE and VCI pull images through CR. The, pro the product feature of VKE is Kubernetes nodes deployed in ECS, so it is very suitable to deploy DF daemon on each node, making full use of bandwidth of each node, and then making full use of P2P capabilities. The product feature of VCI is that there are some virtual nodes with sufficient resource at the bottom level, and the upper level services are carried by support, so it is impossible to deploy DF daemon on each node, like VKE. So several DF daemons are deployed as caches in the form of deployment to take advantage of the caching capabilities. The VKE or VCI client may pull the not this converted image. In this scenario, DF daemon needs to be used as a cache. If using too many DF daemons as cache, it will cause scheduling pressure for scheduler. Here is our architecture with Dragonfly. The resource in the Volcano Engine belong to the main account. The P2P control components, scheduler and manager are isolated at the level of the main account. Each main account has a set of P2P control components. The control plane implements the P2P manager controller, which all P2P control components are managed. The P2P control components is deployed on the VPC, on the control plane on the CR side. They will be exposed to user cluster through LB. In the wiki cluster, DF daemon is deployed as daemon set. It is deployed on each node. In the VCI, DF daemon is deployed as deployment. Container D on ECS access DF daemon through local address. By deploying a controller component in the user cluster based on the private zone, a certain domain with class ID is generated in the user cluster. 
and the controller will select DF daemon port include port in VKE VCI according to certain rules. An A record will add to this domain. By visiting this domain, client can access DF daemon. Now this daemon on ECS access DF daemon through the certain domain. Image service clients and now this daemon on in VCI access DF daemon through the certain domain. Here is our benchmark data. The environment, CR bandwidth 10 G bits, the ECS 4 CAG with local SSD, the bandwidth is 6 G bits. The test image is engines and TensorFlow. The version of Dragonfly is 2.8. The cutout DF daemon limit is 2C6G. We deploy scheduler and manager two replicas. The request is 1C2G. The limit is 4C8G. Here is engine support creation to container start benchmark data. And here is TensorFlow pod creation to container start benchmark data. In a scenario of large scale image pooling, using Dragonfly and Dragonfly with Nodis scenarios can save more than 90% of the container startup time. By using Nodis, the startup time is shorter because of the lazy load feature, which only needs to pull a small part of the metadata. Here is pooling engine image peak bandwidth comparison with using Dragonfly or not. And here is pooling TensorFlow image peak bandwidth comparison by using Dragonfly or not. Here is pooling engine image back source traffic comparison by using Dragonfly or not. Here is pulling TensorFlow image back source traffic comparison by using Dragonfly or not. In large scale scenarios, the number of images pulled by Dragonfly back source is rare. In OCI scenario, all images pulled must back source. Therefore, the peak and back source traffic of using Dragonfly is much less than that's all you OCI scenarios. By using Dragonfly, the number of concurrency increase. The back source peak, bandwidth, and traffic will not increase significantly. Finally, thanks. I hope uh, more developers uh, can pay attention to Dragonfly and the Nethers. Interested uh, developers can scan the uh, QR code to join our GitHub group or join our uh, Slack channel or follow our Twitter. We will release some version information and uh, feature upgrade information. Thank you.